This old warehouse on Chicago's west side is not a typical police facility. It's called Homan Square. Lawyers and criminologists describe it as Chicago's equivalent of a CIA black site. When you go in, nobody knows what happened to you. It's almost like they throw a black bag over your head and make you disappear for, for a day or two. <clears throat> and just, they're interrogation facilities. In May 2012, Brian Jacob Church traveled to Chicago to protest the NATO summit. Police arrested him on suspicion of terrorism charges, but no one knew where he was taken. When they first arrested us, they took us to this building. Um, we were never booked or we were never processed. Um, I was in I was in Holman Square uh, for about 17 hours, you know, handcuffed to the bench before I was actually finally allowed to see an attorney. The right to remain silent is fundamental in criminal justice. So is access to a lawyer. At home and square, Church says you get neither. With his lawyers unable even to find him, no one could enforce his rights. I had essentially figured, all right, well, they disappeared us, and so we're probably never going to see the light of day again. Home and Square isn't obviously a police facility, but there are cop vehicles parked outside. Anti-gang, anti-vice, and other special units operate inside, where the public is barred from seeing what goes on. So essentially, the bench was about this wide, and at the back, it had a bar that came across like this. They wouldn't unhandcuff us to sleep. Um, so when I slept, I slept with like my hand cuffed to the bar, and I was kind of slept like this. Um, all of our ankles were handcuffed together as well. I asked them to make a phone call. I asked, you know, to talk to my lawyers. Um, and again, they, they, they pointed at the phone number and was like, oh, you're not getting any phone calls from here. And they're like, just tell us what we want to know and you can go home. Lawyers eventually found church through a tip off from Chicago politicos. After approximately 20 hours inside Homan Square, he was taken to an actual police precinct. Homan Square is definitely an unusual place. Um, it brings to mind the uh, the interrogation facilities that they use in the Middle East. That's essentially what what this place, Homan Square, is. <clears throat> it's a uh, it's a domestic black site. In 2003, Richard Zuli oversaw one of the most brutal interrogations on record at Guantanamo Bay. But Zuli tested versions of his interrogation techniques on the Chicago streets he policed. 